In the last session, we discussed about uh, what is active and inactive relationship as part of uh, Power BI. The active relation, uh, we can create um, only one active relationship between uh, tables, right? So at a time, right? you cannot create more than one active relationship between tables. That's what we discussed. The active relation propagates filter to other tables. Look here, the solid line. This one represents the active relationship which means the calendar table the calendar table the date column filters the sales fact table it propagates the filter from calendar table to sales fact table what is this this one also uh, indicates the relationship but this is in inactive relationship the inactive relationship it does not pass filtering it doesn't do anything by itself it requires some treatment either we have to use dax function to activate the inactivate function inactive um, sorry inactive relationship the other option is we can create a role playing dimension we can create a role playing dimension so we have seen how to uh, create a um, active relationship and also how to create an inactive relationship and we have uh, used a DAX function to activate the inactive relationship between the tables using use relationship function how many of you remember use relationship function okay so today what we will do is we will look at another approach instead of uh, you know creating an inactive relationship we will we will just duplicate this date table so that you will have two different date tables so this date table will point to order date other date table points to ship date if you want to find out the sales breakdown by ship date we will create another date table in that date table the date column and ship date will link it so in this case with you know so here already it has a active relationship between the date and order date column Hence, we can find out the total sales by order date. But uh, since uh, right, um, when since we cannot create more than one active relationship for to find out right. So in our case, we want to find out the total sales by ship date. Obviously, we have to create one more relationship. But uh, if you create more than one relationship, the first relationship will be considered as active relationship. Whatever the relationship that you created subsequently, that will be considered as an inactive relationship. Instead of creating inactive relationship, we will duplicate this table, date table in this case. Okay, and then what we will do is we will link that table with ship date to get the total sales by ship date. Now the question is by duplicating this date table, we are end up with <clears throat> creating more number of tables. Is it um, uh, really okay? Is it okay? It's fine, but because um, if you the calendar table or date table, it will not have millions of records. It will not even have you know, one lakh records, hundred thousand records. So in that case, you can duplicate the table. Okay. But uh, usually we use the DAX function, which is nothing but the use relationship function, using which we activate the inactive relationship till the uh, the computation is over okay once the computation is over it will reset it back to inactive relationship which one the use relationship function now we will take a look at the second approach the role playing dimension what is role playing dimension why do we call this a role playing dimension a single dimension which plays multiple role that's why we call that as a role playing dimension look here i just this is what we did it in the last session we created two dax one dax function look here so sales by ship date so the the calculate function the first argument is sum of sales amount second argument is the use relationship this is using this function we enable the we enable the inactive relationship to active relationship so here these two columns calendar table date column and then in this table nc sales 
table ship date you link these two things so that i can get to know the sales amount you know the sales breakdown by the ship date so this is the sales amount by order date this is the sales amount by ship date so this this is called your measure this measure i just dragged and dropped it here along with if you look here when you select a visual so you can see that you know what are the columns that that we have used it and from which all tables that we have used you know which columns that you can see on the right side also for example if you hover the cursor on top of this column so this column quarter comes from calendar table you can find that one easily there yeah yeah recording is going on yeah one second yeah recording is going on correct let me enable this one also recording, recording in progress, in progress. zoom also enabled it okay fine so this is my dax function it's not a dax function it's a measure in the measure i have used the dax function we will see what is measure later point in time so you just drag and drop this one so you will find uh the so when i scroll when i scroll down here i can see that see each quarter right so four quarters actually we have uh, four years of data is there in this so each quarter we can see that the sales so and but in this, when you see here you, you know the the sales amount by order date is this much sales amount by shipped date is this much there is a difference but overall total is <coughs> same okay overall total is same okay now the same thing what we will do is without using dax function how we can find out the total sales by shipped date i just go to the power pivot so we can see that we have only one calendar table is there simply what i do is i look here this is my inactive relationship right so i activated this inactive relationship using use relationship function in my measure now what i do is i just duplicate this calendar table how to duplicate a calendar table you go to the data view and then you can see the calendar here so this is my data set that are part of my calendar table so next what i do is i just um, go to the new table calculated table okay write a dax function to create a new table simply if you want to duplicate this one there are couple of options are available so what i am going to do is ship date calendar is equal to we have something called calculate table it is a dax function using which also we can do so already i have a calendar table isn't it so if you look at here calendar is a function calendar auto is a function that this is not dax function the calendar so this calendar is surrounded by single quote that means this is the table name look here this is the table name i am going to select this one that's it so you can use a filter filter for comma first argument is table comma filter you can use it but filter is optional if you don't specify filter what will happen is it simply this calculate table will return a table okay so if you see on the right side the newly created calendar date table is available we just simply copy pasted it using calculate table function so now what i do is i'll go to the power pivot ship date calendar is there i just move this closer to my fact sales table in c sales and here what i am going to do is i am going to remove this relationship for the time being before that i will tell you one more time i just give you a quick recap the calendar table date column is linked with nc sales order date this is the active relationship because the line is solid the second one is inactive relationship when i keep the cursor on top of this one the uh, the dashed line which is nothing but the inactive relationship in both the table 
the date and ship date got highlighted right so but the date and ship date is inactive relationship what i am going to do is i am going to delete this one since we can create only one active relationship between the tables at a time what i am going to do is i am going to remove the inactive relationship i am going to create this uh, you know date with ship date okay already date with order date is there now i am going to link this one with this one and if you to make sure that uh, you know whether you whatever you the column that you dragged and dropped right so you should drag and drop the date with ship date only okay to confirm that just keep the cursor on top of yes date and ship date got linked just give me a second huh? somebody is okay i'm back so here now we don't have in any any inactive relationship we can rename this column also the, this table also instead of calendar you can say an order date calendar something like that okay ship date calendar any of this one is let it be there this table is just a copy of this one okay this is just a copy of this one that's all okay now what i'm going to do is so i just go to the report canvas this one look here this which were now became you know uh, some problem right it came up with some error because we removed the relationship right inactive relationship between the tables even if you use the dax function to activate the inactive relationship relationship should be there here so there should be a relationship active inactive relationship should be there since i removed it it is showing error here got it so next one is table i'm going to create another table we're not going to disturb that one so here i just uh, go and pick up the sales amount from this one and before that um quarter right so i just select the quarter here and the next one is sales amount but here the quarter shows something wrong here just keep the cursor here just click on this one click on don't summarize 1 2 3 4 correct right it is doing the correct job and uh, next one is we will put some uh, let me do one i don't know what other column that i used here uh, yeah sales amount okay and um, now what i do is I just copy paste this one. And the next step is in the ship date calendar. I'm going to pick up this quarter. Yeah, instead of this quarter, I'm going to pick up this quarter. And and I'm going to move this up. And here I say don't summarize. there is a difference here right so there are some missing values are there so ship date by sales amount ship uh, the sales amount by order date so you can see both of them the total sale is same but quarter 1 2 3 there is some blank values there that's why it shows something like this 5 7 look here in the third quarter 5792 and fourth quarter fourth quarter is also there is a difference here so this is another way of uh creating more than one relationship active relationship between tables the first approach is you can use a dax function to enable the inactive relationship active the second option is create a role playing dimension this is called your role playing dimension the duplicate of this same table is called because the same calendar table you know in this case it plays uh, sales date uh, sales amount by or uh, the order date in the same dimension right just we renamed it for our understanding but it's a duplicate of this one 
hence the same dimension in this case it plays the different role so using this dimension we can filter the we can filter this table by shift date to get the sales amount got it so this is the difference so now you understood what is role playing dimension a single dimension plays multiple dimensions and the it's uh, the the role playing dimension is this concept is universal data modeling technique it is not specific to power bi remember this okay